Warning, this new way of changing your engine oil could damage your engine that many shops and DIYers are using now, the Holt Pneumatic Fluid Extractor. Here we have a less costly version, and I've seen many tests, but let's find out. Does this one work? Can it damage your engine? Is it leaving sludge in the oil pan, as many say? Well, we'll start off by taking out the dipstick, and you want to see just about how much oil is in the vehicle. If you don't already know, if your vehicle's burning oil, that's why I say check the dipstick, so you have a roundabout idea of how much you need to pull out, because you want to make sure that this hose reaches the bottom of the oil pan. Now, if it's way off, on how much oil that you pulled out, well, then you know that your hose is not at the bottom. It has many adapters, as I've shown, different sizes on the hose. Also, it has special hoses for pulling brake fluid and others. You can use this for engine oil, transmission fluid, gear oil, you name it. But do not use any harsh chemicals in this extractor like gasoline. It's not made for that. And if your filter, oil filter, is on the bottom of the vehicle, well, if you're buying this to speed up your oil change, that's definitely not the case because you're still gonna have to jack the vehicle. As you can see, five US quarts, that's about the same as five liters. Yeah, five liters is a little bit less, but not much. It gives you a roundabout idea. As you can see, there are measurements on the side of this fluid extractor up to seven liters for this one now i've been pumping this thing and pumping it but once you've pumped it say three or four times then just like the whole fluid extractor really it doesn't help you kind of have to wait a little time and then come back and maybe get another pump or two and just keep repeating the process it's not very fast you want to use the biggest line that you can get to fit down to the oil pan. And as I said, you need an air compressor if you want to use the pneumatic part of it. So all we have to do is connect this air line and we're ready to go. Obviously, this weighs a lot faster. I'm just seeing if there's anything left in it. Because obviously, the air compressor is going to be able to move more engine oil out and there were a small amount left in it but really it seemed to get all the fluid out that it possibly could i placed my dipstick back in now i'm removing anything i'm seeing how easy it is to empty this fluid you just pop the top and pour it out slowly guys i seen with the holt fluid extractor you can just pump it out and that didn't seem to go so well this one seemed pretty easy, just pour it out, really. Now we'll go ahead, get this vehicle raised up enough so we can pull this oil plug out. Find out once and for all, is it gonna leave any heavy sludge inside the engine? Because if it does, or it leaves a quite a bit of oil, then I definitely wouldn't wanna use it. Finally, the moment of truth. Well guys, as you could see, it didn't really make a difference. So there was no fluid left over. It actually did the job. Unfortunately for this vehicle, if you're just doing this for speed, well, underneath the vehicle is where the oil filter is located. So I'm not really sure what advantages there would be to doing it this way. Like I said, it is slower without using the air compressor, but really, when you heat up the engine oil, it's not too bad. You want the oil to be a little bit hot because it's going to make it be able to vacuum out the oil much easier. If you would like more information on this fluid extractor or where to locate one, well, just check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Nate's Interactive Auto.